Kevin Spacey. You know, I really liked him as an actor. He was really good at acting. But when they're not on stage, how interesting life can get. Perfect. So you see that look on his face? It's very open. When you're trying to hide, and I always find it very suspicious, no matter what the circumstance, when I see someone hiding. And hiding is just covering up, regardless of how it's done. Whether you're turtling and it's very obvious, or you're doing what he's doing right now. Take the muscle, mostly you can feel it in your ears, and it's like you pull it back. And what that does is it opens your face and it opens your eyes. It's part of a genuine smile, but it's also a technique used by anybody who's being deceptive or portraying an innocent look. To look open and innocent, there's no animosity in that face. It's open and bright and gentle. There's no hard lines. That's what it's doing. So I'm sitting there looking at him because one, you have to actually hold it there. Even if you have resting bitch face, it's better to have resting bitch face than fake I'm open and innocent face. That's hiding. So that's what we're seeing. And he holds it there almost the entire time of this hearing. Notice he's not letting the hard lines of the mouth, even bringing it to the tight lips. They're not going very tight. He's keeping that openness. He's trying to keep it soft. And given the situation, regardless if he's innocent or guilty, there's always going to be stress. Being accused of something this grotesque is not a day out in the park. Let me take that deep breath in. We resettle. We're still holding that fake pose because Kevin Spacey really does have resting big face. A light laugh. It's the portrayal of this isn't bothering me. I have nothing to worry about. Even Weinstein was like, this is bothering me. I do have something to worry about. Bring in the lip in. All the innocent moves. This is all portrayal. He's literally acting out all of it to watch because it's, there's nothing real there. It's like fake reality TV. We see that all the time. Now you're just watching. He kept it on, kept it on, kept it on. And it's beginning to fall. That muscle that's bringing the face to openness. It's beginning to fall because it's tiring. Hold that muscle there. Just like any muscle in the body that is not used to being flexed for that long. It gets tiring and it begins to fall. <sighs> but our Kevin Spacey, he's a trooper. He's going to bring that bitch right back. Back in you may be seated. Okay, hang on just a minute. Folks, uh, uh, I made a statement earlier. It probably bears repeating. Um, while you're all welcome to sit here and observe, um, no one should uh, um, interfere or interrupt these proceedings. And yes, for those of you who are foreigners, this is an American courtroom. We have multiple desks with 1970s, 80s chairs, updated to 1990s monitors. Uh, if you do, you risk being held in contempt, uh, which carries a fine or even incarceration in some cases, or certainly uh, being uh, removed from the courtroom. So by all means, sit and observe, but, but do not interrupt these proceedings. Uh, and with respect to the press, uh, we have the pool cameras up here uh, and um, other members of the press. You just saw it, let go back, go back. He just did it right as I stopped it. Observe, but, but do not interrupt these proceedings. Uh, and with respect to the press, uh, we have the pool cameras up here. 
uh, and um, other members of the press, you know, if you have your... So there you saw it was falling. He's keeping it pretty good because it's not actually completely falling. And then he's able to redirect attention, looks over to where the judge is talking about as if he actually really needed to. It's just a distraction technique. And I mean that in the sense for as much as he moved. Looking over, yes. But to move that much is just a distraction technique. It allows him, though, to give the excuse to open the eyes wider with his eyebrows because that muscle's getting tired. Laptops or, uh, or your uh, telephones, you can, uh, you can communicate with them in, in the course of doing your job, but you cannot take pictures or record. Anyone violates uh, these uh, uh, these requirements, uh, your uh, phone. And you see the mouth stretch, open the mouth, close it, swallow. Nothing in his face is natural. Nothing. Muscles get tired. Can be taken from you, and as I said, likewise, you can be held in contempt. So I don't anticipate anybody will uh, uh, act contrary to my instruction, and uh, I hope you won't. But And I thank you in advance for uh, your consideration in that regard. So, Madam Clerk, go ahead. All right. 1888CR0598, Commonwealth versus Kevin S. Fowler. <clears throat> this is an arraignment, Your Honor. Thank you. All right. No record. Wait, 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 Thank you. Okay, Mr. Fowler, this complaint charges that in the town of Nantucket on July 8th, 2016, did commit indecent assault. Notice he put his hands over one another. It's pretty much nice resting pose, regardless of if you're portraying or not. It's a nice resting pose. It allows you to put your hands somewhere and not be impolite by putting them in pockets and not look standoffish like the lawyer is by crossing them. Sir, if you're, uh, if you're charged with another offense while this matter is open, uh, you can be held for uh, 90 days without bail. Uh, Mr. DA, request beyond the bail warning? Any? Beyond. And then we see no movement there. So he does not acknowledge or give any insight to this judge who just told him. You do something else, you're going to jail for 90 days. Even an innocent person will give some kind of reaction, whether it be a head shake and the positive, like, yeah, I don't plan on doing that. Something, a swallow, a blink of the eye, something. And we get nothing because we're in a portrayal. I'm innocent. I'm soft. I am no threat to anyone. I do not want to give away what's actually going through my mind. So if I just stand here like a stone statue, Everything will be good. The bail warning, Your Honor, the Commonwealth is requesting that Mr. Spacey be ordered to stay away and have no contact with the named victim and his family. Notice the hand at the moment, the hands, and you should be able to see them get tighter because as much as you try and hide, as we've already discovered, you can't really cover anything up. And even the ones that make you look semi-relaxed, I'd expect the white knuckle effect to come out. All right, certainly uh, the, uh, the court will impose uh, those conditions. Anything additional? No, Judge. Okay, all right. Um, so uh, um, no, no, no. Also look now the difference between the lawyer and Spacey's hand. The lawyer's loosely just holding together that nice respectful pose. Spacey is not, he's holding them. Requests in terms of uh, um, uh, movement or... Uh, uh, Staying within the United States, anything as required nothing. by the court judge and as required required by the probation department. Uh, our only request, simply specifically, is the stay away. Okay, all right. Well, those will be the conditions then, um, sir. Uh, then we're also not seeing. If you watch the neck at this point, it's not moving. Swallowing is natural. Constant swallowing is not. But swallowing is natural, especially when you're in a stress position. He's giving. That's that giving no indication of anything. And swallowing gives an indication. I'm not going to swallow. You're not going to see anything out of me. Well, in hindsight, we are seeing a lot of stuff from you. You're so scared that you're acting through this court hearing. Only terrified people trying to hide do that. You'll uh, meet with probation. You'll sign those conditions. Uh, you'll, uh, you'll be required to stay away and have no contact, direct or indirect, with, uh, with the alleged victim. All right. Um, I know there was a motion filed. to. And there we go. So we see the head positive. The judge talking to him, he holds it, holds it, holds it. And then finally, because the body has to react, there's only so much you can fight it on. Closes the eyes, give that muscle a break, swallow, go to the side. And then we're going to do it all over again because we got to get back into that portrayal. By uh, defense, I had occasion to look at it. Mr. DA, have you had occasion to look at it? We've reviewed him, yes, Judge. Okay. Um, and then we're doing multiple blinking. There's only so much that we do. 
Now, at this point, it's just really getting boring because it's all he's doing and the white knuckles are starting to come out. See there, the white. Because when you start squeezing them down, you cut off blood circulation and it turns white. You want to be heard on the, on the motion or? Uh... Uh, briefly, Judge. Uh, sure. Regarding uh, the motions to preserve, uh, we agree that anything that is currently in our custody and control, we have to preserve, we will preserve, and we will turn over in discovery. Sure. And his face is starting to fall. It's getting tiring. Oh, what tangled webs we weave when first we practice to deceive. Do we really need to watch this whole thing? Nah, he just continues to do this whole thing over and over again. His muscles get tired. He looks for an excuse to shake it off. Gets right back into it. Leaves the courtroom in the same way. Regardless, he is what he is. If you liked it, leave a like. If you like the content, please subscribe using this link via specific feeds. You'll be sent notifications to the full length videos and ones that can't make it to YouTube and you won't mysteriously be unsubscribed either. There's now a video course available on her website for gold subscribers, where Mandy teaches more about her techniques of deception detection. There's also other content such as the crime series, an interesting mind series, and monthly podcasts available to both gold and silver subscribers. If you like it, please share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.